my rising second graders. How's everybody doing out there? We are on our 11th day of Caterpillar Camp. Can you believe it? We only have 16 days together and we're on day 11. The time is flying by. So let's get right into it. You guys have been working hard. Remember on week one, we started with our 10 frame and counting numbers up to 10. And then we added a second 10 frame and we put numbers in as spillover. So we went up to 20. Then we moved from there to our 100 frame so that we could see what it looks like on a 100 frame when we're working with spillover and going up to sums of 99. From that 100 frame, we moved to our 100 chart, which shows our digits. And we've just been moving and moving along. And I hope you've been soaking it in, as I know you have. So we're going to keep going. I'm going to go back to our vocabulary for a while. We had lots of vocabulary words down here. We worked with 10 frame, pair, sum, equations, and then we added add end. And these are all our addition words. I would like for you to turn in your workspace book to page 61. If you don't have it, go get it quick, quick, quick. I will give you a few seconds. Page 61 in your workspace book. And while you're turning to that page and grabbing that, I just want to talk about some of these words. Equation, remember the equation is the number sentence that we are writing. It has two or more add-ins in an equation, an equal sign, and our sum. The sum is the answer to an addition problem. Great job. The add-ins are the numbers that we are adding together. So we've got three very important words right there. Add-end, sum, and equation. These are the words that I want us to focus on the most. Are we in our um, page 61? Excellent. We're going to add a new word. The word that we're going to add is multiples. Multiples. So when you count numbers, starting at 10 and counting by tens, these are multiples. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Starting at 10 and counting by tens, these are multiples. So on your page 61 in math vocabulary, you're gonna add the word multiple. M-U-L-T-I-P-L-E, multiple, okay? And multiples of 10, I should say multiples of 10 are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, and we could keep going, but we're stopping at 100. So multiples of 10 are starting at 10 and counting by tens. Add that to your math vocabulary, page 61. If you flip to page 63, that's your glossary. And if you look in the second column, right under the word equation, the next word says multiples of 10. When you start with 10 and count by tens, the numbers you get are multiples of 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 are multiples of 10. We say 20 is a multiple of 10 because it is a number you get when counting by tens. So that's vocabulary that you can go back to and um, look at if you forget what a multiple is, but you've already written multiples of 10 on your page 61 so that you have it in your own words. Okay, so we're going to start with another number word problem. Frame. I sold 
blank tickets. So now I'm selling tickets. Then I sold blank more. And you do not have to be writing this. You're just going to follow along and work with me. How many tickets did I sell in all? And when we're working through this word problem frame, we're going to use a few pairs of numbers and we're going to practice. We're going to start with 30 and 20. We're going to plug these numbers in up here. So I sold 30 tickets. Then I sold 20 more. How many tickets did I sell in all? On our hundred chart, we can start at 30 and we can add 20 more. So when I'm adding 20 more, we can think 10 plus 10 gives me 20. So I can go, oh, let's flip over 30 so we know that was our starting point. 10 at 40, 20 at 40, and another 10 at 50. So if we start at 30 and add two tens, we end at 50. What does that look like as our addition problem? We already know we're working with 30 and 20. 30 plus, think first boys and girls, we said that 20 is made up of two tens. So let's start with 110. 30 plus 10 equals 40. Okay, and that's just where I ended here. But I was not done, I have to keep going. 40 plus 10 equals 50. Okay. So I've added two tens here. Now there's another way that we can look at this. We know that in 30, how many tens are there? Excellent. 30 equals three tens. Let's put a line here so we do not mix up our work. Okay. 20 has how many tens? Good. 20 is the same as two tens. Okay. Now if I add those together, three tens plus two tens equals, excellent, five tens. Okay. And five tens is the same as 50. So going back to our original addition equation, 30 plus 20 equals 50. So two ways to solve. Here, we broke it down into our two tens. Here, we also broke it down into our tens, but we just wrote out how many tens we had so that we could see the difference, um, the two different ways to solve. Let's try another problem. Suppose I sold 40 tickets. Okay. So I'm going to sell 40 tickets. Then I'm going to sell 50 more. Okay, visualize that problem, get it in your head. I'm starting at 40 tickets that I'm selling and then I'm going to add 50 more. What does that look like on our 100 chart? Did you say we start at 40? Great, so I'm gonna flip over 40. And now, we started at 40 and we add 50. How many tens are in 50? Well, let's see. If I start at 40, one ten, okay, is at 50. Two tens, 60. 
Okay. Three tens or thirty is seventy. Forty or four tens makes eighty. Five tens or fifty makes ninety. So if I started at forty and I'm adding ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, I've ended at ninety. Forty plus fifty equals ninety. And we know this from using our hundreds chart. But let's take a look at how we broke down our problem into tens and ones. Forty equals four tens. Okay. Fifty equals five tens. What is our next step, boys and girls? Excellent. Let's add four tens plus five tens. And four tens plus five tens equals nine tens. And if you count nine tens, well, let's think. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Hold on, let's go back to our 100 grid. Let's look at our tens this way. 9, 10. Okay. 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay. And this is four tens here, equals 40, plus five more tens for 50. So one, two, ooh, lots of magnets, three, four, So I've added four tens and five tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So you see, boys and girls, four tens plus five tens equals nine tens. And nine tens is the same as 90. So going back, 40 plus 50 equals 90. Let's try a third problem. Are you ready? How are you doing? I know we're moving quickly. It's okay. Remember, you're just watching right now, taking a little bit of practice and soaking it in. You don't have to copy all of these. You are gonna have plenty of time to work it out in your book, okay? I'm gonna show you how to solve another pair. This time, we are not going to start with a multiple of 10, but we're going to add a multiple of 10. I want to add 58. So I sold 58 tickets. Then I sold 40 more. Okay, so I'll begin by turning over the 58 card. Oh, let's turn our own other ones. 58. And I want to add 40 more. But remember, I wasn't starting at a multiple of 10. I was adding multiples of 10. And that's okay, because if you think here, I know that 58, and if I add 10 more, 68. So another 10 makes 68. Another 10 would be 78. And another 10, 88. And one more 10 would make 98. Okay? So 10, 20, 30, 40. But of course, we need to break this down so that we can take a look this way as well. So we know that in 58, we have five tens. Let's write our problem here, 58 plus 40. 
we have five tens. And how many ones are in 58? Eight ones. How many tens are in 40? Are there any ones in 40? Great, so now we're gonna add our tens and add our ones. So five tens plus four tens. Five tens plus four tens equals nine tens. And I still need to add my eight ones. Okay. And nine tens plus eight ones equals 98. So 58 plus 40 equals 98. Boys and girls, the biggest thing about adding your multiples of 10 and adding tens in general is to break down our tens and ones. That's why on Monday's lesson and on Thursday's lesson, we were working on showing numbers as tens and ones. Once you break them down, this is starting to build up how you can add your numbers up here. If I know that this is my tens and this is ones, and again, I know here I have tens and ones, I can add my tens and my two, ten, my two um, ten digits. So five tens plus four tens gives me nine and eight ones and zero ones gives me eight. So mentally, I know when I combine those numbers, I'm at 98. Okay. I have a few practice problems that I would like for you to try. So if you turn, um, let's go to the front of your workspace book where you have some extra, uh, just like blank space. You can work up here. So the front cover, that gives you plenty of space. Okay. Let's try 15 and 10. I'm going to erase our problem frame for now. We're going to add the same way, but I'm going to give you a few problems. Let's try 15 plus 10. Okay. Now I can do this on my 100 chart. If I start at 15, I want to add 110. I know that in 15, I have 110 and five ones. Okay. If I add one more 10, because 10 is 110 and zero ones, I can say, and we can add it right here, 110 and 110 makes two tens plus five ones equals 25. And again, going here, add one more 10 to this and we get 25. Let's try another problem. We're gonna leave that one. How about mm, 46 plus 10? 46 plus 10. Start by breaking it down. 46 is how many 10? Plus how many ones? Then I know that 10 is how many tens? We know zero is no one. Is there's no ones? Okay, excellent. Are you saying forty six has four tens and six ones? And I hear another friend saying ten is one ten. So when I add these together, I'm going to add my tens. Four tens and one ten is five tens. And I have six ones, and this makes 56. Mm -hmm. 
All right, I know, boys and girls, let's keep trying. I'm gonna give you a few moments to try three more problems. 33 plus 40. 17 plus 20. And 89 plus 10. Work these out on that front cover page. Are you figuring out how many tens and ones? Looking at that first number at 33, how many tens are in 33? How many ones are in 33? How can you combine that number with how many tens and ones are in 40? Let's try that. In 33, we have, God, I hear somebody saying three tens and three ones. And in 40, my other friend over there is saying there are four tens and zero ones. Now I know that I have seven tens plus three ones equals 73. So 33 plus 40 is 73. I hear a friend telling me they want to try this one on the 100 chart. You have both of these options. In your uh, digital tools, you have the 100 chart. It's when you click on M tools, you can practice both ways. So my friend says they want to start at 17. And what's next? Oh, you're just saying, I know that 20 has two tens. So you're saying count two tens. Well, how would I do that? Would I go down here? Right, I'm just gonna follow down. I know that all the way up to 27 is one more 10, which is 10. And then if I continue to 37, I've added two tens. So 17 plus 20 equals 37. Oh, I have another friend that's telling me, Mr. Ball, please work it out on the side. No problem. We know that 17 is made of one ten and seven ones. And good. Oh, the same person is telling me, oh, I know. 20 has two tens in it, and there's no ones. Are you telling me, oh, so I add the one ten and the three ten, two tens, and I get three tens? And then seven ones, three tens plus seven ones, and we equal 37? Is that, that is the same. So you're telling me that if I break it down in tens and ones, and if I use my hundred chart, as long as I'm understanding tens and ones, we can get them the correct answer both ways? You are correct, excellent job. Okay, boys and girls, so your independent work is to go to page 28 in your workspace book. In page 28, you'll see a hundred chart, and you'll see some problems very similar to what we worked on. There's the directions at the top show you to um, read the problem. I read blank amount of pages in my book. Then I read blank more. How many pages did I read in all? Then you're going to color your numbers on the hundred chart. So you can have a crayon handy or you can shade in with your pencil and write your equation. There's three different pairs of numbers, one, two, and three, that you'll work through as well. So work on page 28 in your workspace book, and then be sure to share this with your teacher. If there's anything about this that you're not sure of, please make sure to tell them so that you can break down your tens and ones and understand where we're adding. All right, boys and girls, I will see you on Thursday, tomorrow. It's our last day of the third week of camp. Boys and girls, I'm gonna miss you so much, but I know you are soaking up all of this um, information. So I'll see you tomorrow for our last day of the week. Bye.